about 55 minutes of wacky fun. I play the senior Gallagher. The wife left a while ago before our pilot began. Took with her the minivan and all my hopes and dreams. And it's about the family trying to make its way in, uh, in Chicago. And uh, my character, Frank, is an addict. He's a, a drinking alcoholic. Uh, if you leave it around, he'll take it. And so he's toasted <laughs> in almost every scene. I, you know, throughout my career, I've always fancied that I sort of speak for the common man, the, the underrepresented, the little guy. And uh, this role is no different. These people in this, in our world, have no shame. They are shameless. Um, on one hand, you might think we've got a relatively loosey-goosey relationship with honesty and the truth. But on the other hand, you can see these people as making their way through life with uh, uh, quite a, a load to carry, a dysfunctional family. And um, they make it, and it's about their spirit, and you have to look past some of their unorthodox ways of getting along in the world. I mean, at the core of the thing, and this is what I find shocking each time we end an episode, at the core of the thing is this bizarre love of our family. It sticks together in this way that I find this series to be quite novel. I've never seen this before. The Gallagher family is bold. I mean, they don't seem to have a lot of fear. It's not, they're not retiring at all. They really chew up life. They really grab stuff within or without the law. Um, in the pilot, there's a, an opening, which we do over and over, and Frank, my character, sort of takes credit for their joie de vivre and their their ability to party hardy and uh, I guess there's something to that. Frank's not the sharpest crayon in the box but he's pretty clever. He's not an idiot. He's not dumb at all. He's just loaded um, and he's tried to figure out how to play the world rather than just beat the world. He's trying to play everything and uh, all the kids in the family have inherited that. Fiona, played by Emmy Rossin, is my eldest daughter, and I guess she's 21 or something like that. And she is the de facto uh, head of the family, and she's raising the kids. And Emmy's playing it so beautifully. There is certainly the sense that, uh, that she inherited the job and is not thrilled about it, but at the same time, she has taken it on fully and completely, and with a degree of joy. She's an amazing character, and Emmy's just playing the bejesus out of it. Um, so she's trying to live her life as a young, vibrant, sexy 21-year-old, while having five children that she has to take up, six if you include me. It's clear to me that Frank loves his, uh, his oldest daughter uh, beyond measure. Never admit it, doesn't act like it, but. I can feel it, that it's there. And for some strange reason, she loves Frank, too. Perhaps a year or two ago, I set my sights on doing TV. Um, I'm married to Felicity Huffman, and she does Desperate Housewives, and she loves her job, and uh, has loved it now for six years, loves going to work every day. She gets to act a whole lot, and I share that with her. I like to act, I actually like to act and I wish I could do more of it. And I sort of set my sights on getting a series for myself. And there were a couple of false starts. And um, I'm a lucky palooka. John Wells sent this to me. And uh, it took about nine seconds to decide to do it. It's the best experience I've had in a long, 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 long time.